Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're doing a little bit of chronograph testing with the Ruger PC carbine. We're going to try to see if we can figure out what kind of velocity you can expect out of a 16 inch barrel with just some basic e 115 grain full metal jacket ammunition. First things first, I want to send a little shout out to the Defense Dad channel who loaned me this carbine for this test. Uh, without his help, this test won't be possible. Make sure you guys check out the Defense Dad channel. I will put a link to his channel at the end of this video. Now for ammunition today, we're going to run some Fioki range dynamics, just basic ball ammunition, 115 grain. Now it's rated at 1200 feet per second. I don't know what barrel length they actually test that with uh, from the factories at a 20 inch or 8 inch or 10 inch barrel. I'll try to get that information for you if I can. We're also going to run just for fun some Inceptor 65 grain 9mm Luger ammunition. This is Inceptor ARX ammo. It's got a very interesting uh, bullet shape to it. It's kind of like a little propeller. And we'll see if we get any kind of a, a velocity gain from that. And this is rated at 1,540 feet per second and 342 foot pounds of energy. So, what we'll do is we'll take five shots of each ammo and then we'll give you an average on that to see uh, what it comes out to and try to get an average of energy, velocity, and see if you get any kind of a velocity gain versus what the box says. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start up with some chronograph testing. Here it is. All set up, ready to go. We'll go ahead and take uh, five shots with the Fioki. I'll just read the speed off to you, the velocity that's registering, and we'll see if the ammo has any kind of a velocity gain. Here we go. 1332, 1393, 1377, 1385, and 1386. Okay, we're going to go ahead and test this with some Inceptor and see what happens. 1829, 1737, 1728, 1740, and that's it. So we had some pretty significant gains from that 16-inch uh, barrel. Alright guys, so let's start off with the uh, Fioki range dynamics. What do you need to know? Now the box says 1200 feet per second and 368 foot-pounds of energy. I couldn't find any information on the website as to what they fired that out of or what the barrel length is, but the 16 inch PC carbine did produce 1,375 feet per second and 483 foot pounds of energy on a five shot, five shot average. So you are going to increase. We had a gain overall of 175 feet per second and 150 foot pounds of energy, which in my opinion is fairly significant. Now, why would something like that matter? I don't know if you consider something like this for home defense. Obviously, you'd be running a you know defensive grade hollow point or something along those lines. Or maybe if you hunt, there might be some energy minimums you have to have to hunt the game you want to go after. And you might be able to reach those minimums using a 16-inch barrel versus what the box actually says. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, Inceptor ammo. And we'll take a look at that bullet here in just a sec. So the Inceptor was listed at 1540 uh, feet per second, 342 foot-pounds of energy. What's weird is when I went to the Inceptor website to try to find information about what size of barrel they test their ammo in, it now says 1,650 feet per second and 393 foot-pounds of energy. So they must have a hotter charge going in that bullet at this point, or in that, in that round at this point. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm just going to go off of what my box says, which is 1540. But anyway, a uh, five-shot average comes out to 1,750 feet per second, which is a gain of 210 feet per second and 100 foot-pounds of energy at 442 versus 342. So that's a pretty significant gain. So going from whatever size barrel they test these in, which could be a five inch pistol barrel, maybe a four inch pistol barrel, I don't know, to a 16 inch carbine barrel is gonna give you much more significant energy. So that's something to consider. Again, self-defense applications or maybe hunting. All right, so I wanted to show you that Inceptor ammunition earlier, and this is what it looks like. I gotta get the camera in focus, there we go. So you can see what that looks like. It's an interesting round, very interesting. But again, at 65 grains, you might want to do research on it and uh, depending on the application that you want to go with. So in the end, it was a fun test. It was just neat to see what it can do. We will get the PC carbine out for some accuracy testing when we can get a red dot on it. Uh, but for now, that's what I can tell you about the PC carbine or any carbine going to 16 inches. There's a pretty good chance you're going to get a substantial velocity and energy increase versus what the box says. So anyway, this is Travis P11. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out my little podcast that I do on Saturday mornings called Caliber Corner. We always have a great panel. We do it at 8 a.m. Central Time on Saturday mornings. We 
you talk guns and ammo and whatever else comes to mind. But in the meantime, I want you guys to like and subscribe, mash that bell, have fun, be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.